Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. We are. We decided that we're going to take a walking foodie tour. Yes. We made it ourselves. And these places are in Olvera Street and in Chinatown. And they're in walking distance, which is really nice. Yeah. And it's really across the street from Grand Central Station. Mm -hmm. So if you take any kind of public transportation mm -hmm. here to LA, these are all within five to seven minutes walk. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So now we are here, uh, gonna take a little walking tour. We are. Mm -hmm. And uh, see what's on the street. A lot of gifts, a mm -hmm. lot of restaurants and stuff. And uh, we have our eyes set for some beef taquitos. Yes, uh, of course, you know where it is, Cielito Lindo. Yes. Which is world famous for their taquitos. They've been slinging taquitos since 1923. Yeah, from what I hear. Let's yeah, it's a long out, time. Babe. Yep. try some fresh juice here but look at they have some really good looking stuff oh the fresh fruit huh yeah Right, we're gonna get some. Uh, what's it called? Aqua, Agua fresca. Agua fresca. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of great looking flavors. We almost got the horchata. Yeah, we almost got it, but yeah. we got instead sandia, watermelon. Oh, okay. Mm. There was one place uh, recently that I had watermelon juice. I forgot, but it was like I told you they they kind of squeeze it from a cheesecloth. Remember I told it. you about that? Mm -hmm. It just is good. I just think it was Vegas, good. right? Somewhere I, I forgot what it was. Yeah, but this is delicious. That's yummy. She put extra ice in it. It's not watered down at all. You could taste mm -hmm. a little, I don't know, the little pulpness yeah, of the watermelon. You can actually see it through the drink. That's yeah. really good. Wow. I like it. And it was uh, just one size, right? One size, five bucks. Five bucks, yeah. yeah. Not bad. It's, it's helping, be, helping out the local vendors here. Yeah, it's really nice and refreshing. Yeah, I'd let you know it's in the probably the low 80s right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and a little bit humid here, but it's nice, nice and open. Or a good call, babe. Yeah, good call. Thank you, babe. These candies look really good. I remember seeing these when we are when we go to TJ and everything like that. They look excellent. We're at Cielito Lindo. We hear that they're known for the real famous taquitos. You can get two for 360 or you can get three with bean and cheese for 750. These look really good. Oh, yeah. Now we've been here before and we got the two taquitos, mm -hmm. but we never tried their bean and cheese. Right? Yeah. Plus you get an extra taquito. Yeah, it's really cool. And then this makeup right over there. Beef taquitos, freshly made with their legendary avocado sauce. Let's dip it in. Usually if you order it, they pour all the sauce over it. And they asked me if I wanted the sauce over it, but I said I wanted it on the side. So get a good amount of sauce on there. Mm. Hint of spice in there. Not too spicy at all. This sauce is delicious. You almost want to dip it, bite your ticket bill, and drink the sauce. It has really mild flavors with a bit of a kick. 
Welcome to Mount. Um, Harkness, there's an iron in there. Look, get this. Mm -hmm. You want to taste? Jonathan, Jonathan loves that. Little tomatillos in there. You can taste all the little wonderful herbs and spices in there. And this is like perfect. When you come down to Olvera Street, you have to get these. I know you see them all over the place on commercials on Food Network, but there's a reason it's there. It's not overplayed or or overrated. It's it's really good. You have to try these out. We are inside the uh, dining area, it's very small, there's only three tables including this one, so you can see it kind of it's a, such a small area. So here we go, it's been a while since I had this, and just, just by sitting on this bean and cheese, it just kept everything hot, look at that. Although this isn't my first time trying it, it is my first time with the refried beans that are on it. And man, that just adds another taste element to this taquito. And like you mentioned, this uh, avocado sauce is a little bit on the sour side because of a little bit of a spiciness to it. But again, it just matches perfectly. I mean, this thing is like delicious. And who knew? that it would just be a match with this little bit of bean and cheese on it. Look at that bite. Pro tip, splurge for the extra few bucks and get it with the refried beans and cheese and put it on your taquito. You'll thank us later. Excellent. Those are Awesome taquitos. Oh my gosh, they are so good. They are better than the last time I remember. Me too. Yeah, they are. And usually when you get the tea taquitos, they ask you if you put the sauce on top. And last time we got the sauce on top. And then when we got down to the middle of the taquito, it was a little bit soggy and it started falling apart. If you saw that video, this way when you have the sauce on the side, you can get just as much sauce and it stays really crunchy. It does. It doesn't fall apart on you. Yes. And you know, really that good. with the uh, bean and cheese, that was the hot tip. I yes. Guess. Yeah. So you gotta come by and try this place. It is right. so good. And again, I don't think it's overrated. I know a lot of people will probably say it's it's too commercial, it's overrated. I don't think so. It is excellent. You gotta try it out. Very good. Now we're gonna continue our walking tour. Uh, yes. Another five minutes from here. Yeah. Is where we're gonna go we're next? We're gonna go to Philippe's. Philippe's for yeah. their famous French dip. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Philippe's. Just like that, we are at Philippe the Original. Mm, about five minutes walk. Not too yeah. bad, have it. Oh yeah, just mm -hmm. a straight shot. It is. Yeah, so we're gonna go in there. I know they have different types of sandwiches, mm -hmm. but we're gonna try to stick with the original. Yes. And get it uh, double dipped, yes. right? Yes, mm -hmm. double dipped. Yeah. That's a good sized line over here. Yeah, and it it's a weekend, a little bit past lunch rush. Uh -huh. And the Dodgers are not even in town. This is usually a stop for the Dodger fans before or after the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good business. It is. double dip or wet we got the double dip on the french bread you have a choice of bread as well and this is only comes like this so it's a la carte so all of this other sides you have which is the potato salad we got coleslaw and pickles they're all a different chart and you also have a choice of meat and you have a choice of meat they have beef dip they have turkey pork they have all different types a lamb i believe they right? have lamb as yeah. well mm -hmm. but we went with the original beef yeah. French roll. Yep, and this is usually a must stop if you're going to it or from a Dodger game. This is where everyone stops to get their sandwiches here in Tommy's, but this is walkable, so. Here we go. 
Just to know, this place has been here and making French dip sandwiches since 1908. Yeah, there's a pattern here of history right here in uh, downtown LA for taquitos, French dip, and probably a bunch of other stuff. But here we go. I don't know what it is with today, but it is the best I've had here at Philippe's. We've been here like maybe three or four times total, and this is the best out of that, out of all those times. This is really good. The first thing that hits you is that nice, rich beef au jus that they, that they dunk it in. And um, the nice freshness of this French bread, that comes through the, the beef, nice and tender. It just uh, bites nice and clean. And just that double dip, which, uh, which I'm guessing they, they dip the part of the bread of the meat. It's a perfect amount. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. They're also known for their mustard. So I'm gonna hit this up with a little bit of mustard right here. It's supposed to be that really potent. Good. Let's try it. Mm. That mustard. This is strong mustard. It's delicious because it actually tastes like a Chinese mustard. So if you taste a Chinese mustard, very strong and tasting. Not like a French's mustard or anything like that. Completely different. This is a really good sandwich. So again, we've been here several times, and usually our favorite is pork, but this beef sandwich is really good. I talked about places being overrated. When we came back a couple times before, we thought this place was very overrated. It's a lot of history here, and so you would want to come and visit and try it yourself. But today, at this time, this is excellent. It is so good. Right? I'm not just it's, talking it up. It's yeah. Before the bread was uh, too hard, I kind of remember. And we got the double dip before, but it was just like falling apart and everything like that. And it was okay, but today it is excellent. It's on point today. It is on point. Yeah. Wow. This is really good. We're going to go ahead and finish this. They have a lot of sides available, but we opted for the uh, coleslaw and this potato salad. Looks like a little bit of a chunky style. Let's try it out. Good. A little bit of a pickly flavor to it. Nice pieces of potato. It's the perfect uh, firmness of the potato. So it's not too mushy, nor is it too, too firm. So if you like a little bit of relish pickle flavor in your potato salad, this is it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Everybody, we're, we're planning to get the coleslaw, but everybody is ordering the coleslaw. And they have like little scoops, they scoop it out and that thing is almost empty. So I had to try this. Mm. Fresh tasting coleslaw. Kind of KFC tasting, but not that sweet. Super crunchy, super fresh. Really finely, very finely chopped. Extremely easy to eat. Doesn't look very wet at all. I know why everybody's getting this full cup. It's excellent. Pretty much they gave you four slices or four quarters, so it's like a whole pickle. They have sweet pickles and dill pickles, and so I got the regular dill pickle. Kind of floppy. Probably more country. But it'll match perfectly with the sandwich. Absolutely regular dill pickle. Could have been it's like something that's taken out of a jar, but it's a good pickle. I'm a pickle person, so. Last drop. bite, babe. No drop. Last bite. Along with my pickle. Great French dip. That was really good. It actually makes me want to come back. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I remember before in the past couple times that we've come visit, we've tried the French dip and the pork dip before. Yeah. Um, we thought the pork dip was better, 
Uh, right, the furniture was. just completely like fell apart. It was just okay. It was last time it was a little bland. The last time, this one was on point. It's almost like yeah, we do want to almost come back and be here. The other ones were like okay, we've tried it, we're good. But now it really makes us want to come back. We're one more in this area. Bill and Lisa approved. One more place. It's just directly up the street. Mm -hmm. One block away. Yeah. What's it called? It is CBS Restaurant. We, you know how we love uh, roast pork, so we're gonna get some roast pork. Yeah, the crispy skin, yeah. right? And maybe there's a also a pastry place across the street. Maybe a little pastry. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go. Made it to CBS restaurant. Yeah, we're gonna go try some roast pork. What's interesting about this area is actually right across the street, a lot of people have been asking us to try the Jewel of New Orleans, which is right across the street from CBS restaurant. We're getting kind of full. Don't know if we can try it on this trip, but it's all within walking distance of this area. Yeah, it's all crazy how everything is so close. Yeah. Now this restaurant has a takeout area and a dine-in area. It does, uh-huh. So, well, we're gonna hit the takeout. Yep, and they have dim sum like, Normally when we were traveling, dim sum and even in Torrance, dim sum starts at 10, 11 o'clock. These places are 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you want that dim sum like we're used to early in the morning, this place has it. Oh, and a little bit of history. Uh, it doesn't say what year they've been mm -hmm. established, but you've been coming here since you're a little kid. I've been coming here since I was a baby and that was a long time ago. So like in the 1990s then? Yes. Yes, that sounds about right. <laughs> when you come into Chinese uh, restaurants or just Chinese takeout and everything, this is the roast pork. They roast it forever. I think in uh, Filipino food it's like lechon, right? Lechon, the same thing, and this is their roast duck. Yeah, so this is excellent, but it's hard. It's a very rich. So you buy it by half. This is what we're getting on this trip. Yeah. So we got a few things yeah. today. Take but, over to my family. Yeah, but this time we're just gonna do the roast pork. We are. Right? So, here's the roast pork. It's served by the pound, $15 a pound. You can get just a few slices, but since I was gonna take some over to my family, we uh, are gonna do it. I'm just gonna take a few of their slices. Haha. <laughs> Look at this, ready? I'm ready. You can hear the angels on this one. I sure did. Yep. Wow, yeah, look at that. See all the meat, there's that crunchy skin right there. Good pieces of fat and good pieces of meat. This is freshly done roast pork. You can see the perfect pieces of fat in the in-between. There's the crunchy skin. Look at all that meat and it glistens because wow, super juicy, all that yeah. juiciness in there. Wow. So I'm gonna eat this by layers right here. First, I'm going to take a bite of this meat, see how easy it comes off. Mm. Super juicy. Wow. That's some really good roast pork. Um, part of the skin. Mm, the crunch. Even some of that skin has the meat in there. Mm. This is perfect roast pork. Gotta love these back of the car reviews, just like we did in the old days. Here we go. You're right, this thing just glistens in that LA sun. Look at that, perfect mixture of fat, uh, meat, and that skin. That crunch. Wow, I'm a huge fan of this. They give you some sauce, right, on the yeah. side? Mm -hmm. Don't need it right amount of saltiness in that pork well maybe it's the brine or something but it really doesn't need anything maybe maybe a rice ball right mm -hmm. just a rice ball with this favorite part is that nice crispy skin on that pork wow this is um a perfect ending to our little la walking foodie tour we're gonna get a dessert across the street babe we are? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a piece. <laughs> Love it. 
We're here to get a dessert. We're gonna get a sesame ball, which has usually paste in it, and one custard tart. Yeah, this is right across the street from uh, CBS too. Mm, we usually come here and I get tons of goodies, but this time we're gonna hold back and that's what we're gonna get. <laughs> We got some dessert, mm -hmm. especially I um, want to try the sesame ball. Mm -hmm. Last time we had it was in Honolulu at Tim Ho Wan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try out to see if it's the same type. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's try it out, babe. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's the yellow paste in the inside, which is sweet. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. ba I barely got it. Okay. Good sesame taste. It's mochi on the outside. Yes. How's the piece in the inside? Mm -hmm. A little bit on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. I actually like Tim Hawan a little bit better, babe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not bad, babe. But this is still good, though. Mm -hmm. Still very good. But if I had a choice between the two, Tim Hawan. Yeah. So it's a good capper, huh, babe? Yeah, go and try it out, babe. Let's try this out. Uh. Mm hmm. Mochi on the outside, sweet in the inside. Yeah, great sesame flavor. I like the inside but I do like Tim Hoan better it looks it's a bit more soy bean pasty well, right? more creamy Sweet, in the middle more creamy mm -hmm. yes but it's good I like the crunch on the outside of this one yeah, very good mm -hmm. very good well that is going to wrap up our downtown walking foodie tour yep I mean we didn't catch everything that we wanted to no no of course but not but we got enough awesome taquitos mm -hmm. french dip uh, roast, food, roast, roast duck pork. and the sesame ball. Roast duck, roast pork, baby. Roast pork? Roast pork. <laughs> and keep in mind, everything is within five, seven minutes of each other. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you ever come to this spot, you could just walk it. Mm -hmm. it's, a cool, it's right next to Union Station. And yes. so if you're taking a bus, Union Station stop. Or train? Or train. Yeah, yeah. Do we have any shout outs, babe? We do. Uh, Terry Olson, happy birthday. Greg Robertson, Miles from Kula. Uh, Maui, a uh, happy birthday as well for those two, Craig Robertson and, and uh, Miles. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann from Kalamazoo, or Mary Ann Kalamazoo, mm -hmm. happy birthday. Uh, a sweet tea, Shelby, happy birthday. happy birthday. Lee Hackleton, happy birthday. Miss AVP, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bobby Sue, Madeline, happy birthday as well. Uh, Shani and Justin from Sacramento, thank you so much for watching. James and Justin, thank you so much for watching. Brett and Rebecca from Australia, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Richard, Romero, Richard, Richard Moreno, happy, oh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, Richard is also going to Colorado, so good luck. He's oh, going yes. to our, uh, college in Colorado, right. so good, good luck. luck. Mm -hmm. And Stephen from La Mesa. Thank you, little one, for watching. Our one, youngest, youngest viewer. He's one of our youngest viewers. That's right. Well, that was a big birthday. Yeah, list. sorry if I stumbled upon it. That's okay. Some of the names. We're trying to read the phone in the sun glare. So yeah. It's a little bit, little bit, it's a little bit hard. But, but you did it, babe. Oh, thank you, baby. You did it. Okie dokie. Well, thanks again for watching our foodie adventure. That was a lot of fun. It was. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.